There are more details tonight in the John Goodman case. He is charged with vehicular homicide after crashing his Bentley into a car driven by 23-year-old Scott Wilson and killing him. Tonight we have a picture of what John Goodman was doing before the fatal crash. News Channel 5's Rochelle Ritchie has been sifting through investigative reports and is live with more. Rochelle? Well, Jane Kelly, I have those reports right here in my hands. This stack of papers gives us more of a detailed look at what Goodman was doing before the crash, including heavy drinking and an attempt to get a friend to smoke cocaine with him. During an interview between investigators and a bartender from the Players Club, the investigator asked, did he start drinking immediately? The bartender answered, as soon as he walked up, he asked for 10 shots of my best tequila. The investigator then asked, did he drink all of those? The bartender answered, no, he passed them out. That night, February 11th, Goodman spent more than $200 on alcohol. During the course of the interview, the bartender says Goodman did not appear drunk, but investigators say Goodman had an alcohol level of .117, two times the legal limit the night of the crash. Stacy Shore, a friend of Goodman's, says the International Polo Club founder asked her to leave and get cocaine, which she declined. The discovery also revealed while surveying the crime scene, detectives matched footprints to the boots Goodman was wearing the night of the crash. The footprints were shown to be leaving the crime scene and led to a trailer where 54 minutes after the crash, Goodman called 911. And Goodman's attorney, Roy Black, is firing back over the release of the document, saying the report is one-sided and that it, quote, ignored the favorable evidence, such as all the witnesses who gave statements that Mr. Goodman was not intoxicated. Mr. Goodman intends to vigorously defend himself against the criminal charges, and he is entitled to his day in court. Live in the newsroom, Rochelle Ritchie, WPTV News Channel 5.